He spent eight years in jail since his return. Now Ronnie Biggs insists he's done enough time and should be freed. And he has the powerful support of the probation service. In a key report to the parole board, a probation officer said the prisoner is assessed as low risk of reoffending. And she added, based on the information available to me and following interview, I have assessed Mr Biggs as being suitable for early release on parole licence. In 1963, the great train robbers stole more than £2 million from a daring raid on the Mail Express. After escaping from jail, Biggs enjoyed 35 years on the run, most of it in Brazil, often cocking a snook at the British authorities who tried but failed to extradite him. He flew back voluntarily in 2001, prepared to complete his sentence. He's now done almost 10 years, like other gang members, a third of his original 30-year term. My father has rehabilitated himself. What else would these people want? I mean, they've had their pound of flash, he served his time, he rehabilitated himself, he should be free, just like any other prisoner. We're not asking for anything over and above what any other human being would get after serving his time in prison. Biggs becomes eligible for early release in July, though the parole board's decision needs approval from Justice Secretary Jack Straw. His lawyer is confident he'll get it. Mr Biggs returned to this country to pay his debt to society. He has paid that and that bill should now be marked paid in full. Old and very ill, Ronnie Biggs doesn't have much of a life outside to look forward to, but at least he has survived. One gang member committed suicide, another was shot dead by rivals. The hearing here was adjourned while his lawyer sorts out which care home he can be moved to when he is freed, and who's to pay for it, because Biggs is broke. The proceeds of the great train robbery, huge as they were at the time, were spent many years ago. Martin Brunt, Sky News, at the Parole Board.